Hey guys, it's Carthorn back with another PSA return video. Have a pretty decent size return this time around. Starting off with a banger, this one is going in my personal collection. Happy to grade this in a 10. Because it's often kind of hard to grade these regular hollows. They have a lot of print issues often. Or just easily susceptible to scratching. So yeah, I still need to get the EB game stamped version of this card, but... There's one for the PC, and yeah, it was really clean on the back. Like, maybe very, very small white dot, but that's it. And then I'm also collecting the Lance Trainer cards, just because he's like Dragonite's trainer. I kind of use him as like my profile picture now on Discord. That one was a bit off-center, actually. Still hit the 10. I do have that card in regular form already, so it's nice to add the rainbow. Then these are just some cards for a friend of mine. Some no symbols. I think the grades didn't really hit very well. Nothing above a 7. Oof, 3. I mean, that card was really rough. And a 7. Oh, that wasn't all of them. There's two more. Electro and a Flareon. So I'll set those off to the side. Push up them later. Or sell, probably sell them for him, rather. And then we have some Celebrations Classic Collection cards. Still grading these. Just because I can't keep them in stock. I've sold through so many of these already. Let's make nine pile. Unfortunately, this one hit a 9. I only send like the best of the best 151 cards. I do sell through a lot of them, and it is pretty tough to hit 10s on these cards. Unfortunately, we missed on that one. Blastoise Classic Collection 10. 9. Racking up the 10s. Let's go. Another one. And another one. Beautiful. Fortunately, the Umbreon hit the 9. What was wrong with this? I don't know. This card looks pretty good. Was it Sinnering? I think the Sinnering is fine. Hmm. Not sure what brought that down. Oh well. Next up, another Blastoise 10 and another one. Let's go. Doing really well on our classic collection cards. I mean, I do pre read these pretty harshly because I end up buying a lot of copies of them. How'd we do on the birthday Pikachus? 10. Nice. 10. 10. And 10. Wow. What a streak there. And another one. Five tens in a row. Gonna be some nice inventory to have and easy to stock. I just list quantity on the same listing. Unfortunately, this flannery hit an eight. I think the centering was just bad, maybe. I'm not sure. Wait, no, there's like a dent there. I must have missed that. There's no way I would have sent that in if I saw that. Hmm. Sometimes. No matter how hard you pre-grade, you'll still miss some things when you're sending in so many cards. I don't spend too long looking at my cards. I feel like if you spend too long, you're, you're going to end up not sending anything in. Like, because, example, this card is a bit diagonally centered. It's pretty off, but we still hit the 10. So if you grade your cards too harshly you're just going to be grading stricter than PSA standards and they're they're pretty easy graders so you don't have to like go in with a magnifying glass or something eight fortunately that lady hit an eight was did this one have a dent also or something or was it just centering I brought this down. I 
There are like a couple missing pieces of texture. Maybe that's why. Other than that, it looks really good. I don't know. That's unfortunate though. These and eights are uh, gonna lose us some money for sure. Bland Rainbow 10. Probably not worth much. No one collects Pokemon Go. That's okay. Maybe one day. Nine Hoopa. You can see now the soon is a bit off. It's about the same as one of our Blastoise that hit the 10 and had the diagonal centering though. Gradient 9. Hisuian Electrode 10. Honestly, it's really not worth grading a lot of these Sword and Shield Full Art cards, but I don't know. I just like grading cards. I just like sending random stuff in sometimes. It's a nice one. The shiny gold Mew, whatever you want to call it. More classic collection tins. And nine. Oh, this one's sending is pretty bad. I'm surprised I sent that. Oh well. And another nine. And then this was, I think, one of our lowest grades. We hit the seven. I really miss this. You can see that line. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. It's pretty noticeable. Like I said, sometimes you're just going through the cards really fast. And if you don't hit it under the light the right way, I feel like there's another line up there. How did I miss that? How did I miss both of those? I mean, it's probably my fault and not PSA. I'll have to go back through my submission video and see. I mean, it's possible they could have caused that damage, but I'm not sure. I don't blame them generally. A couple full art muse. This is a beautiful card. I just like the pink on pink. Really simple, really clean. Looks good. Gold Flaffy, PSA 9. And, oof, another 8 trainer. Not sure where we went wrong with this. It looks pretty good to me. What am I not seeing? I don't know. I really don't see anything. Hmm. We know if you guys saw something as I was flashing that card in the light. Chandelier V Max Rainbow 10. Zoroark V Star Gold 10. Wiggly Tough EX. Full art from 151. 10. Floats are a lot easier to grade than the illustration rares. I don't know, the, the printing method they use is different or something on those, but. TG. Probably not worth a lot, but these TGs can be really tough to grade. So it's nice when you hit a 10 on them. Japanese. Random. I send in random low value Japanese cards. Sometimes a popular Pokemon. Because I know I can sell them. And make a couple bucks. And pretty low downside risk on a lot of Japanese stuff. Unfortunately, the Umbreon VMAX hit a 9. I was really hoping this one would read high. Beautiful card. Center is a bit slanted diagonally, I think. More classic collection. Our 10 stack is leading by quite a lot, though, so we're doing well. Another one. Another one and another one. Look at all these tens. Let's go. Ten. Ten. Oh, nine. Ten stack is gaining ground. Let's go. Classic collection. Ten, ten, ten. I think these cards sell between 40 to 50 still. Oh, yeah, I was going through some of my cards that I've been sitting on for a long time and I found this Alolan Executor which I was surprised was really minty because I feel like I would have graded this a long time ago if I thought it's going to hit the 10 yeah that's a nice one to get 
1999 Southern Island. One of my favorite sets of all time. Some General Mills cereal box cards. I think I have more of those. Next up, these were some of the gr best grades in the submission, the 151 illustration readers. Again, I go through a lot of these cards and honestly most of them have lightning on the back or something. So it's really hard to find them without any white dots in the corners. Wait, this almost looks like there's something in the center. Is that a print line? Hit the tin though. Let's go. So yeah, those are some beautiful cards. One of my favorite sets of all time. Just sells really well for me also. I love stocking those cards on my eBay store. Birthday Pika. Candice. We did pretty bad on the full art trainers. Unknown V full art. Cool, cool. Superior 9. Glade 9. I think probably just slightly off centered on most of these because there's no whitening or anything. So maybe sometimes there's like an issue with the the black part. Adventures Discovery 10. No one really collects the trainers anymore, I've noticed though. Like on both the Japanese and English side, those have dropped off massively from where they were at one point. I don't know, the the Pokemon market is weird sometimes. Ten. Room Lady Ten. Like we just go through cycles. Stuff being hot and then cold and then something else gets hot and then so a lot of it is centered around hype and like sometimes YouTubers pumping stuff. Nine, nine, nine. Ten and eight. Yeah, eight. How come it's like only the full art trainers that hit eights? What the heck? That's weird. What was wrong with this card? That looks super clean. Huh? I don't see any damage on this. There had to be something for it to go down to an 8. Is it the centering? I don't know. The centering looks fine. Maybe very slightly off. Alright, I could stare at that card all day. Let's just move on. Alakazam EX 10. There we go. There's a 10 on a trainer. Is this any worse than the others, though? I don't know. Are any better? It's like, it's like, it's like the same as the 8. It this goes to show you, grading makes no sense sometimes. Flygon 10. Trico. Oh yeah, random reverse hollow I sent in. It's because it's minty. And I like the artwork. I'm just a big Komiya fan, I think. It's a very unique style. Gia 10. Oh, here's another no symbol for my friend. Set that off to the side. Some random Japanese <clears throat> popular Pokemon. Gengar. Venusaur 9. A lot of repeats, but honestly, I prefer that. Easier to list the cards. These Sun and Moon Air Hollows can actually be tough to grade sometimes because this like silver border would show damage easily. But there we go. Giratina and Kyogre in a 10. I really like these cards to be honest. 
Even though they're just like 10 cent hollows, I grade them in a 10, they look clean. Radiant Greninja. Mew, 10. Really like that card also, good art. Right, and then we hit some of the General Mills Pikachu promos and tins. You can see that hollow pattern is exclusive to these General Mills promos. And then one eight. Let's see if we can find what was wrong with the eight real quick. Hmm. Maybe just like some minor whitening on the corner there. Venusaur 9, Mew V Max 10, Rayquaza 10, and Tag Team Trevenant and Dust Noir 10. So there you have it. Our 10 stack is about three times bigger than our 9 stack. So really good return. Lowest grade for my cards was 1.7. The 8s are unfortunate, but it is what it is. We'll make up for it and more from the profits from the tins. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Smash like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.